Kevin Zabo here to introduce you to Oak Lawn's newest local hotspot. It's called Fry to Coop, and they say that they have Nashville hot chicken. So let's go see what that's all about. So they got Nashville fried chicken, but then they got a spicy butter fried chicken sandwich. Decisions, decisions. So you got all these different flavors, country, mild, medium, hot, crazy, and insanity. Welcome to Fry the Coop. We're here in Oak Lawn and we're making delicious Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. Come check this out. So right here we got our toasted brioche buns, our special sauce. We got sweet and sour bread and butter pickles with our homemade coleslaw. We are, uh, he is putting these bad boys together. We fry all our chicken in beef fat. It gives it that extra level of flavor. All of our chicken is coated with a dry rub that goes on the chicken after it comes in the out of the fryer. And what that really helps is like give it that extra level of flavor. Like everybody already loves fried chicken, right? So you add our nice spicy rub on top of it and it kind of brings it up to the next level, which is really fun. Uh, and then what that does is it adds that extra little crunch the extra um, bit of uh, deliciousness and then um, really we think it's like the perfect bite so you got your fat your savory your um, acid from the pickles and the coleslaw the butter on the golden brioche and it just really all comes into a perfect bite so our french fries are really special we uh, cut our fries by hand and we use Kennebec potatoes that are like the creme de la creme of uh, the, the french fry family uh, we cut them by hand and we fry them twice, both times in 100% beef fat. And uh, what's nice about it is the first time you cook them, oh, it's a process called blanching, and you blanch the french fry, it cooks it all the way through. The second time you Make fry it, it, it makes that outside nice and crispy. So when you bite into the fry, you get that like hard crunchiness on the outside, but then the soft, warm, gooey uh, inside. Uh, and a little Little side note, this is how McDonald's used to do their fries before 1990. So it's a little sneaking little history that we put into our French fries and uh, they are to die for. And I got my guy Monroe who's tried this place before. Yes, how do you like it? I came yesterday, a friend of ours brought me my wife yesterday for lunch. And I'm back again today and I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> I got the Nashville, just a regular Nashville chicken sandwich, it's perfect. The fries perfect, no ketchup on the fries, everything's perfect. And we're back again today. The net. Got two yesterday, I got two today, and right, we're back tomorrow. Right, at least three times a week, man. It's, oh, it's man. good. The food <laughs> is good. Like a quick lunch. I'm very satisfied. I think one of you guys got insanity. No, he got he did, in, yeah, He got the, the sauce side. on the he side. Got the sauce yeah. on the side. That was a good choice. Yeah, smart. But smart it's, man. It's good. I love it. <laughs> Just remember, you heard it here first, folks. Yes, like I said, my first time yesterday, and I'm back again today, and I will be back tomorrow. Our hottest level is Little Insanity, which I do not recommend. It uh, will kill you. So be careful with the Little Insanity. Uh, in that, we use um, the Carolina Reaper, which is one of the hottest peppers in the world. We use the Trinidad Scorpion Pepper, which is one of the second hottest peppers in the world. We use Ghost Pepper, Habanero, and Cayenne Pepper. I call it the uh, one, two, three, four, five punch in the face because it really is uh, spicy, no doubt. So right now he's putting our chicken in the dip. The dip is beef fat, seasoned beef fat. It acts as a binder. And then what he's doing right now is he's coating it with that extra level of deliciousness. And uh, that beef fat acts as a binder to the chicken and lets it stick. And this is like just another level of flair, flavor going on already delicious fried chicken, which we all love. The insanity sauce, it's got the habanero, the reaper, and the ghost chili. Your classic chicken and waffle. How do you go wrong with that? Here we go. Mm. Perfect blend of butter and spice. If you like butter, this is the sandwich for you. 
Wow, these homemade donuts are spectacular. The sweetness really brings out the chicken too. Red and tasty. Check out those pickles on there. Let's see those. Homemade sweet pickles. Mm-hmm. Man, does that look good? I'm gonna try it with some of this hot sauce. Oh man. Oh, oh my god. The hot sauce with this makes it just that much better. Amazing. I've been waiting for classic chicken and waffle. Can't have one without the other. Hold. Was that good? The chicken is so perfect. Crispy, great texture, good spice. Delicious. Hands down, top five best fried chicken I've had in my life. Check these waffles out. They obviously got a nice waffle maker back there. It's not no stuff out of the freezer. Great texture. You would think they were a breakfast spot. How good that waffle is. Now getting back to the butter, butter chicken sandwich here. Look at the spice on there. With the butter. Mm. Mmm. Man, is that good. I know where I'll be coming to lunch when I'm in Oakland from now on. They cook these fries in beef fat. Delicioso. Now we want to see them eat that whole thing. <laughs> now normally they have inside seating, but during this pandemic they've made changes. They got a nice little pickup window. You could go there, order your stuff, wait a couple minutes, bada bing, bada boom. So please don't miss your chance at the top notch chicken spot. Take it to go, take it to go. So good I had to get something to go.